Unburst! <laughs> I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Terra. It's nice to meet you, Tara. What are you nuts, running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules! I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete! Look, it's Captain Dark! Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns! I am Captain Dark! And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record. Hold on, how's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second. You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules. Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races. And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. Oh. Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything! Must have sprung a spring. You yahoos just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. 
It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Tara. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip, hip, hooray for Tara! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But that doesn't mean I have to jump in. Mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giacchi. Uh, um, young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say a word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow. I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out. Then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No. Oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Philly, this stinks. Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Trouble? Rescue is on the way. A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. If it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just gonna make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice! You 
this machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him. Here you go. These are the directions for the machine. might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token. Nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well... That sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. The mask of peace and hope comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justice. Huh? What? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bona fide hero is uh, offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero, bona fide or. So Oh, what's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! Y 
you. Oh, I know that's a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruitball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Inverst are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You uh, fit them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless, but I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. those monsters lesson. You're the real hero in town if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me You see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my high. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure sugar isn't justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up was just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. 
Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh, dear. He sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him, too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, I guess Good sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised, too! Hello, everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our Dream Festival. The Million Dreams Award presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in. Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. You mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? No. There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, Please come up and join me on the stage. Oh dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. I must have just missed them. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! Good for you! Thank you, everyone. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Royal Berry Ice Cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What do you think? Delicious. 
You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. No, who does she think she is dumping me in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and. Quiet fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here, and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. Stay back. You okay? Huh? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Guess they were too much for me. I'm just gonna have to train harder. You're pretty tough. It really handled those things. Are you here to enter the games? What games? The games games. To see who's strongest. One day, I'm gonna win them all and become a true hero. Hey! Where are you? Front and center right now, or I'm tacking on another thousand laps. Uh-oh. Gotta go. The Coliseum's just up ahead. I, I hope I get to see you fight there sometime! A competition. Hmm. I should find out how strong I really am. Jeez Louise, one chump after another. Look at who's who of Decathlon disasters around here. All I need is one measly warrior tough enough to give Zeus a jolt of his own medicine. Wait. Dark, moody, powerful? Yes, he's perfect. This is it. How sad is this? Huh? Hmm, <laughs> pains me to see it. All that power going to waste. Who are you? Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead, God of the Underworld, yada yada, how you doing? Hey, let me guess. You're trying to put the kibosh on the darkness inside you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, anyway, bad idea. Wait, what? Okay, stay with me. Darkness is inside everybody. Nothing to be ashamed of. You play nice with it, and darkness will be your best friend. But if you go and get all self-conscious and refuse to face it, the darkness will run over you like a debutante at a toga sale. And then where are you? Nowhere. Now me, I look at you, and I see potential. 
That's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Well, let's hear it then. How do I conquer the darkness? Easy. You sign up for the games. I know, I know. Please, Lord Hades, the games. But hey, you would be surprised what you can learn in the heat of battle. And don't worry, I'll be right there to guide you every step of the way. I'm kind of what you'd call an expert in the art of darkness. Oh, decide fast. This is a limited time offer. When are you going to tell me how to conquer the darkness? Hold your chariot horses. You would not believe the bureaucracy involved with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. Now, height and weight. What's this? Favorite god? <laughs> Come on, Hades. There, ba boom. Easy peasy. I sense that you're already starting to get all warm and fuzzy with that darkness inside you. It's sweet, really. And hey, by the time you win the final match here, you'll have figured out how to conquer it for good. And don't worry, anything goes wrong, I'll make it all go away. Service with a smile. I got it. It's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? Ah, I told you, I'm book solid. And old spells, forget it. Uh, what? And who in hell of Canarsis are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! All right, all right, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes. Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. Unburst monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I'll help, too. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> the games are coming up. So I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I wanna train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna go sign up right now! The games, huh? Sounds fun! Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. 
you want to be a true hero, Herc, then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Colosseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? You want to become a true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Huh? Come on, we're friends, aren't we? You bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy hit and contender cleaning up over there in the East bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're gonna have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender. Ben, come on. Uh, okay. Guess we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, <laughs> about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. This is really close. Hey, we got trouble! There's monsters loose in town, and if they gate crash the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. You won't get past me. Huh? What about your match? Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone. Because I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come on, let's finish this together.
sorry that I made you lose that match, Herc. Aw, oh, come on. You don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Uh. What? You didn't <sighs> save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won, then? I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said oh, I'd coach hmm? the winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart and care about people. And sure, you both get high marks for that. But this time, only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Then that means... Oh, man! I was this close! <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. The name's Zack. Congratulations, Herc. Thanks, Zack. Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Hey, don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training her, were you? Nah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... incentive. It's, uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, her gear is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're a true hero. Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh. So you mean never come back? Hey, watch it! <laughs> okay, this is not what I had in mind. Uh, but hey, I can improvise. Time for Plan Beta. Pardon me, coming through. I'm gonna miss my match. Hello, Plan Beta. Hey, kid! Huh? Over here. Come here. Once I've conquered the darkness in my heart, I'll never have to fear it again.
Huh? Uh, stop it! The match is over! He was a pushover before. What's gotten into him? It's not me. What? I'm not doing this. He's being controlled. Ah, so what do you think? You like my new super warrior? See, right here, this, it's the power of darkness. Could have been yours, still could, if you open up to it. Hades! You were just playing me. The darkness will never have me. My heart free. It looks like I bet on the wrong dark horse. That kid doesn't have what it takes to handle darkness. You gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm finally free. Where is... He's gone. Man, how can I let a guy like him control me? I'll never live it down. <laughs> Thanks. Um... Tara. Thanks, Tara. I'm Zack. Hmm... Yep. Definitely. Tara, you're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. Not the way you look. There's something else about you. Well, I'm no hero. Trust me. Are you kidding? Listen to those cheers, man. You don't get to decide if you're a hero or not. They do. And they've already made up their mind. Whether you like it or not, you're their hero. <laughs> and mine, too. It's too bad. I really wanted to fight you fair and square. Maybe someday, Zack. Ha <laughs> ha. 